Uh, good morning. It's Sunday just after 5 a.m. Why am I getting up this early? Uh, but today I'm cooking a pork butt. Um, not super low and slow, but fairly low and slow. On my uh, Weber Smoky Mountain, which I don't cook on very often anymore. Uh, but so we're going old school. Uh, so we have this pork butt. Uh, I have my concoction here. I'm going to inject with my injector. What this is, is just uh, uh, orange juice, Worcestershire sour sauce, and some about four tablespoons of sugar. And I'll mix that up in there and inject it the meat with that. And today I'm using Lauren's Rub. Lauren O'Reilly from YouTube sent me a recipe for this. I'm going to try this out. It's a spicy rub, uh, but it does got some sugars in and stuff in it, so it'll be good, uh, I think, for, uh, for this project here. All right, so let's get this uh, injected. We'll get this rubbed up, and we'll get her on the smoker. Bye. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if you're going to see anything because it's really dark out here. It's still early, like I said, just after 5. Uh, I got my smoker going. I'm going to try to cook around 250 to 280 for half the cook, and i probably turn it up towards the end to kind of speed up the process. Uh, but I'm using a regular um, premium charcoal pellet. Uh, not pellet. Um, briskets from uh, Kingsford here. So, the Weber Smoky Mountain, and this is the most economical way to really smoke good meat, man. Uh, plus, you can get all kinds of accessories. In this case, I have a fan blowing. This will help me control the temperature. Um, it does have side controls. You can, just like any Weber, you can uh, control the vents. Um, but this definitely helps assist with the temperature control. <clears throat> and this thing has a, a bowl in here. You can't see it's dark. Uh, but that bowl I filled with water and... It's sort of like a water smoker if you want it to be, and that helps you know keep the, the meat moist. And in this case, as we're doing pork, I'm gonna do uh, put some apple cider vinegar in that water. And that'll help give it a little bit extra flavor, hopefully. It actually it does. It's good. All right, guys. So we'll get on this, and next thing you'll see is the meat on the smoker. <laughs> Man, I love cooking on this thing. <clears throat> I don't cook on it that much anymore because it's a. Uh, just takes more time to set up, but it does such a good job. Uh, if you get the temperatures controlled right, you're good to go. So we have an all day event. I'll be back periodically to show you the progress. Love it. Maybe a good thumbnail. Later. Okay, guys, we've been going for about, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a little over an hour now. Uh, this, now it's a little bit daylight. You can see what's going on here. So the Weber Smoky Mount is rolling right along. The temperature controller. Uh, it's a Fireboard brand. This stuff is awesome. Anyway, controls the fan speeds and shows your probe temperature. And you can run it all from an app from your cell phone. Anyway, we're at 270 degrees there. Somehow it's upside down. And this is what we got going on here. Very nice. All right, be back for some updates soon. Later. All right, what a beautiful day in St. Louis County. Man, it's nice out. All right. But all I want to do is a bite of sleep. Here we go. Progress. I really don't need much moisture in here. Let's pretty right check it out. Looking pretty good, guys. Uh, I think we're about close to halfway before we start wrapping it. And uh, looks like we're doing pretty good on water down there. All right, Dan Smoking Treasures. We'll get back to this as soon as we can. Bye. All right, so Dan with Dan Smoking Treasures. Here we go. Let's see if we get some better lighting in here. I really maybe that helps a little bit. Anyway, this is finally done. Took it off the grill. Took a long time. I ain't quite sure it was quite thought of in the center all the way. Took it out. Got it to. Uh, 206 degrees after wrapping and put it in the cooler to rest. Now, pulling it out, I had an incident where I lost a lot of my juices, so I'm hoping this doesn't dry out too much. So let's get this mess out of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what a mess that is. <laughs> so are you falling apart to death? Perfect. Look at that, guys. Ugh. I'm not unsatisfied with this. Look at this. Oh, crap, that's hot. Whew. 
Anyway, good way to burn yourself. I say this is a successful pork cook. We'll shred this up some more. Let's take a bite of this. It'll probably be the piece that burns my mouth. Yeah. Good. You take your gloves off because they're not helping in this case. I'm gonna um, after you do this, I like to shred this and you know, find a different rub, a little something a little sweeter or saltier, and kind of douse it with that, which I will do here in a minute. Cheers.